Hi guys, I'm a South African and I'll be giving my thoughts and perspective on this Blair White video. Welcome to Reality Check SA and let's see what we have in store today. We decided just to, you know, not make people feel like we're coming in hostile. Put rainbow tape on the mic, but I feel like it just looks like a dildo. Hi, what's your name? My name is Mateus. Oh my god, do you want to be the first interview of the day? I do. Oh my Let's god. do it. Oh my gosh. I, I've heard my, my partner follows you on your social medias. He talks about you a lot. Oh my gosh. I know I know you be shaking waves. I know you make waves. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> How many genders are there? How many genders are there? Here, there, there you go, starting off with this question. Now, I'm going to say... Mm, biologically, we got male and female. Hormonally... It creates so much variation. How do because everything is a social construct. This is what the left likes to say. This is what woke people often like to say. That everything is a social construct. So if we go with that notion, I tremendously believe because everything is a social construct. There are as many genders as you would want them to be. But reality always wins, right? This is why I created this channel, Reality Check SA, to reality check people. So in reality, there's only two genders and, and everything is just made up. How do you feel about gender affirming care being banned here in Texas? So it's like a big thing happening right now for minors. I think everybody has the right to gender affirming health care regardless of your age. How do you guys feel about trans women and women's sports? Another highly debated topic. They're women. They're women. Let the <laughs> be in women's sports. It's not like... Even Leah Thomas. Huh? Even Leah Thomas is big ass. I don't know that. I, I don't know people. Just like. What? Okay, to say that trans women are women is obviously very subjective. And I would argue that in reality it's not true. But to say that a man competing in women's sports and that man would not have a biological advantage over those women. It's just plain ignorance and stupidity, I would argue. What do you think is the earliest age that someone can start receiving gender-affirming care, whether it's puberty blockers, hormones? As soon as they can vocalize that they want breakfast for dinner. Wow. There's a security guard following us the fuck around, like hard. How do you feel about gender affirming care for minors being banned here in Texas? Hot topic right now, that's what's happening. Mm, being banned, um, honestly, I feel like mm, it's banned in Texas, but they honestly need to be focusing on way more stuff before that. That's, that's my opinion. I feel like mm, leave it to your parents. Honestly, leave it to your parents at this point and for the Texas government. Do, we got other to worry about. What do you think we should worry about before that? I think we should worry about, let's see, homelessness, housing, getting housing for people who are homeless because you drive around Austin, you see empty buildings. It's like yeah. people can be living in those buildings. It's like Iraq. It's like Iraq. Yeah, it's getting it's getting in very crazy. Iraq place. realness. I, Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're like Iran. Um, can dogs be gay? That's a yes. Can they be trans? She said, fuck no. <laughs> what is like the youngest age you think someone should be able to medically transition? I, I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't think there's a specific age that anybody just comes into their trans identity. I don't have an age for you. I mean, you know, as an AMAB person assigned male at birth, like, what do we go through puberty at, like 13? I think so. I'm like, anytime around that age, I feel like whenever these kids are coming into their own identity, it should be a conversation that we could have and not be so quick to say, oh, nope, they're too young. They don't know what they're talking about. Hi, how are you? Do you want to be interviewed? <laughs> Let's do it. How many genders are there? <laughs> she, she's hot. She's hot. I go with two. <laughs> Love it. How many genders are there? As many as there are. I do not have that number for anybody, but I'm open for every number. You know what the sad thing is about this is that this person... It's very unlikely, but it's possible, right? This person may genuinely be a good person at heart, right? They may have the best intentions and everything. But like I said, throughout all of my videos, telling kids lies 
is not protecting kids, I would argue. Obviously, there are certain instances of where you'd have to lie to kids. Maybe if you guys don't have any money, you have to lie to them and they don't, you know, have to know about certain things, obviously. But to lie to them about things that are so fundamental to life, things like gender, is honestly very despicable, in my own opinion, which is what these people do. Like infinite? Probably, yeah. How do you feel about the Planet Fitness trans controversy? I'll ask both of you guys that one. The tr Planet Fitness one. I'm I, ready to I, join. I, I didn't hear about it. What? I'm ready to join. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know about the Planet Fitness uh, controversy, trans controversy, but if you do know, please let us know in the comment section what happened. I'll be reading, I'll be responding. What happened? What's the tea? Uh, there was like a man in the women's locker room, and then they sided with the. Oh. Um, the man over the woman. Yeah, well, she photographed him, and it's against the rules to photograph in the locker room. He was shaving his beard. He was shaving his beard in the locker yeah. room. It was a whole man talking about in the women's locker room, and there's like a little girl crying. I feel like if you're shaving your beard, you should do it in the men's locker room. Yeah. I feel Hello. Like if, if you're a woman, honestly, you should shave your yeah. beard in the men's locker room. If you're, if you're really or get like laser. I think minors should be allowed to like go on puberty blockers because those sort of things are like that's helpful, you know, it's 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 reversible. Um oh my goodness. rushing into something. Are you famous or something? Am I what? Famous? Um famous is a big word. I guess I'm known. Yeah. Have a nice day. We're with Blair White. This is the real- Oh, it's a video. This is a video. Look at her. She's, look she's looking cute. She's looking just like she grabs the real life. Wow. How do you guys feel about gender-affirming care for minors being banned here in Texas? Because it's like a big thing here in Texas right now. I feel like it should just be open for, for everyone. How many genders are there? Honey, there are as many genders as <laughs> stars in the sky. It's all based upon- Like infinite. Yeah, honestly, it's a spectrum, right? I'm just on the autism spectrum. And think about this. If there are as many genders as there are stars in the sky, and they expect us to memorize these things, then memorize those pronouns, I think that is tremendously unfair. I think that there should be maybe as many genders as they are in the LGBTQ community, right? They should not expect straight people to adhere to them. That is... Honestly, my opinions, because I'm not, re I'm not really trying to memorize these things, right? I'm not interested in this. I don't think about sexuality the moment I wake up. It's not something that is tremendously big to me. It does not have any affinity with me. It does not. So, I'm not going to look up these things in order for... It, it's crazy, bro. It is tremendously crazy. Extra. Okay, girl, me too. Let me tell you. How do you feel about trans people in sports? Trans people in sports. I feel like me and my partner were having a conversation about this. Eventually, I just want no male or female sports. Ma just everyone is going to be running. Everyone's it's like everybody's swinging on everybody. Everyone's swinging on everybody. You know? <laughs> Honestly, like, I've seen, I've seen some women do some crazy <laughs> I've seen men get beaten up by some pretty big women. Wow. And, I, and yeah, I thought he was the only one that, that was going to make sense in this video. Uh, but I guess this is what you should expect if somebody's at a pride parade. <laughs> I tried to make a joke. I tried to make a joke. For anybody who does not live on planet Earth, there are differences between a man and a woman. Men are typically stronger than women, right? Meaning that men have a biological advantage over women, right? This is a no-brainer. This is why there are men's sports... And women's sports. Now, these people are trying to annihilate all of that. They're trying to annihilate all of that dichotomy and then say that, nope, men and women are the same even though we are not. And he is using exceptions, which I would argue exceptions do not make the rule. But he's using exceptions and saying that there's one instances out of a million that a woman can beat up a man. No. The majority make the rule, if on average, 9 out of 10 times a man beats a woman, then we'll go with that rule. It's simple. Dem it democracy. Come on. <laughs> and So you're on some like equal rights, equal lefts type shit. I'm on some equal right, equal left. And Simone Biles is out here making everybody look bad, honestly. Is she a man or a woman? She's a woman. I, I'm pretty sure. 
I don't know. So like puberty blockers, hormones, like that's all okay if you're like in the tween age? As long as it's gone through all the proper channels and I trust my doctors and our scientists. How many genders are there? One. One. Only one? No. Uh, like Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. Uh, I don't know. There's 25. As many genders as you want there to be. It doesn't matter. Like, if, if you like it, just do it. Hey, oh my god, I don't want that bird to sh on me. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Anyway, guys, I went out to the South African streets and then I asked people how many genders are there if trans women can become women. And I think it will make a very great contrast to this video, right? So I think you guys should watch it after liking this video, guys. We have low engagement and I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you guys in another video.